got this box today and I'm going to open it because I need to know what is inside. So let's open it, shall we? Well, we've had some of them pop out again, but I'm going to open it this way. Wow, here we go. Oh, put the menu aside even though I've already seen the thing, but there is the pretty sticker. Yeah, we have a Walker's uh, non-such, non-such? Um, milk chocolate covered toffee. All right, let's give this a burl. Oh, look at that. Oh, that looks ooh, nummy, nummy, nummy. Oh, they taste like eclairs. Mmm. They're so good. Alright, so we have a Derwent line maker, a 0 0.3 in bloody yellow. Look at that bad boy. I've been I have never seen one like this before. Like, I've, obviously, I know that there's coloured pens out here, but that's cool. Oh, we have my favourite, a Uniball Signo Abroad. The big boy. I like the angelic, but these are really cool too. And here we have a Zig Writer for Vellum. Uh, Kerataki Pure Black and it is a 0.5mm on one end and a 1.2mm on the other end so oh it's a plastic plastic nib too so there's the 0.5mm and there's the chunky boy the 1.2 mil and we have uh, oh you shake them so they must be like acrylic pens pens are they but they're molotov they're a molotov uh, one for all acrylic twin so they must be an acrylic pen in are they got color names on them Shock Blue, Lagoon Blue, and Signal Black. So there's one end. That's that's the um, 1.5 mil end, and this is the 4 mil end. Chunky boys. Oh. Cool! Check out the featured artist work. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Capasso? Capasso? Is that their name? But if you want to check out their um, stuff, there is their social media. Z, I should say. <laughs> social medias. And they Oh, hell yeah. Look at that. I'm actually really, I like that art style. That's cool. Wow. Very sort of graffiti like. That looks cool. I like it. Okay, so it's a, it's mixed and it's, you know, depending on what color you get. I got the yellow, so you can either get a red or a pink. I got the yellow. I would have liked the, the red, but uh, anyway. So it's um, Dale Rowney Mixed Media Art Boards. There's three of them in there. Oh yeah, they're chunky. They're a bit thick. Sweet. The scroller challenge is Digital Dystopia. Well, hopefully I can do wonders with this box because um, I have sort of haven't uh, been doing really well. With the scroller boxes, uh, I feel as though I've been sucking a little bit. 
I'm not going to waste the boards, so I'm going to go and get some mixed media paper. Here we go. I've got some, just got some bulk standard paper here. It's what I'm actually using for Inktober at the moment. So when you get this video, it'll be after Inktober. If you're confused with what I'm talking about. So this is the, this is the 0.5 mil end. This is the 1.2. That is a bright, that is a bright yellow. Do the chunky end. Oh yes, I like that color. That reminds me of a color that was in a scroller box in the last street artist, which I still follow, which is uh, Cy Cy Mitchell. Yeah, that color was in his box. Doesn't take too long to come out, so that's good. That's a, that's a nice blue as well. Wait for some of this to dry and we all know, oh shit, I don't think I waited for that to dry, that these are very opaque. So these, these uni balls, so I've got no problems there. So this is my color range I've got to work with. This is why I sort of wouldn't have minded a uh, a red instead of the yellow. So yeah, I've got uh, three weeks or so to figure this out. So <laughs> it's, I'm not probably going to do anything until Inktober's finished. So yeah, I'll uh, I could have plenty of time to sort of work something out that I want to do with this box and try and actually do something that's worth watching. So. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna go plan something out that I can do. Now I didn't end up doing this uh, this illustration in real time because I wasn't sure how it was gonna pan out and I kind of just didn't wanna do it that way for this one. So I apologize if you wanted to see some real time uh, drawing, but not this time. <laughs> because uh, yeah, I sort of have been having a bit of a rough trot with these um, boxes and I've been really producing some really shitty work when it comes to these scroller boxes. So I just didn't wanna, I just didn't wanna do any real time shit this time. So <laughs> this is the first illustration of two. I actually decided to do two. I wanted to just sort of do a bit of a warm up and sort of get familiar with the, um, with the media because I have struggled in the past with these boxes I thought bugger it let's just slap something down for something you know for something different you know for shits and gigs because I don't usually do this I am one of those people who I, I am too impatient to experiment I don't like doing it because I just like to jump in and see how it go well that hasn't been faring very well for me <laughs> lately so I decided to tackle this a little bit different so this first illustration I did half of a um, robot who's got the head of another um, robot and she's just crawling along trying to uh, work out uh, what this thing is and uh, she's just decided to put it on a hand and to have it as like a little puppet type thing as she's crawling through this dystopian world and I decided to put some uh, TVs in the background some cracked um, or broken TVs that are just you know spread out in this dystopian world and then I decided to put like a heart monitor sort of um, line through the centers of them as well and you'll find that I this is probably the only thing that I keep um, when I go into the next illustration that I do which is the more refined better version um, or better illustration I should say it's a totally different sort of illustration to this one 
uh, similar theme, but sort of different content, um, as you will see. But um, yeah, I just wanted to get the feel for this. I wanted to see if I could mix some of these pens together, uh, which wasn't real successful. Um, I wanted to see if I could water it down a bit. No, I know it's acrylic, but I thought, bugger it, let's give it a go, because <laughs> that's all I know, because I do with, deal with watercolors. So um, yeah, I made this, her skin a little bit lighter and a little bit more blotchy because I sort of wanted to have, have it that way. And yeah didn't really work not the best thing to do so I know not to mix them with water <laughs> um, and yeah I just laid some loose stuff down I just threw some some shit on a paper and on this board and this is what I came up with for the first illustration which was just an experiment just getting to know it as I've said and then moving on to the next one A lot better oh, I promise <laughs> um, this one's more cleaner it's not as messy and uh, I enjoyed doing this one a lot more than the first one for obvious reasons because the first one was just an experiment as I've mentioned a million times I'm just going around in circles here but anyway I just sat down one day and uh, decided just to draw this I didn't get any uh, references I just drew this completely ad lib off the top of my head which is I to be completely honest with you I do that with a lot of my drawings but sometimes I just have to get some references or some inspiration by looking at other things but I didn't do it with this one and I don't do this very often completely like I should be and it, it was very uh it was very good to do it where you just you just sit down and see where y your head and your hand uh goes <laughs> and that's what I did uh, totally totally without looking at anything I never pre drew this in my sketchbooks I never did anything for this I just sat down and drew it on this board so all it is it's a robot obviously dystopian robot uh, once again as I mentioned before I've got the TVs in the background that are going to be the same color as they were in the previous one because I, I did like that sort of dystopian sort of um, look that uh, with having you know broken TVs in the background I kept the like heart monitor um, line in all the TVs as well and what I did with this robot is obviously he's got one arm functioning um, and, but the other one has been uh, cut off and he's got all his wires coming out and he's trying to crawl along with his legs. Uh, you could say that maybe this fella is um, the product of some experiment and they haven't finished him properly and he's just walking along and he's, his legs are half done and he, or he's just been a medley of like bits of piece bits and pieces of like previous robots or just some sort of experiment uh, of just mashing things together and yeah he, he's he's not overly happy and that's why he's got this big sharp metal rod and he's shoving it through his eye because he doesn't want to live in this dystopian world anymore he just wants to end it all and 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 just not exist anymore because existing is torture Perfect. Perfect. bit morbid bit sad isn't it but i ended up getting some of this pen on my hand because um i didn't work from left to right i just as I do just go all over the place and then forgot and then put my hand in it and then stamped the green as you can see across the paper a bit there um, but other than that yeah I did enjoy this scroller box this one was quite fun I I um, yeah it, it put me in a comfort zone but I, I did enjoy it 
and it's, it's always good to work with acrylic these acrylic pens and I don't do it very often and I think I want to you know when I do sort of stuff like this I want to do more of it but then I don't <laughs> and then I end up just reverting back to watercolor and then just neglecting other mediums that I'm actually enjoying at the time but um, yeah I, I do want to do I've got a, I've got a good range of acrylic paint markers so I've got a mixture of Poscas and these ones now and yeah I should get back into it and do some so there's the two illustrations. I hope you enjoyed this video. Put your own scroller box. I'll have a link down in the description below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.